important to move from your HDD to an SSD, or now more often than not, as most PCs already have SSDs in them, upgrade from your current SSD to a larger capacity and or better performing SSD. Transferring everything from your old drive to your new drive is a snap. Thanks to Acronis Software. And today, we'll walk you through it. This is DIY in 5. Hey everyone, I'm Trisha Hirschberger, and this is DIY in 5, the show where we give you all the tools you need to DIY your own tech, all in a video that's five minutes or less. Today, we're going to walk you through using the Acronis cloning software that's included with internal Kingston SSD products, so you can quickly start getting the most out of that new drive. So let's get started. First, let's get that new drive and connect it to your system. Once your drive is connected, you'll want to download the Kingston SSD Manager, which helps you manage and monitor lots of different aspects of your new SSD. When you open Kingston SSD Manager, you'll notice an Acronis tab. Click that and download for Windows. Note, you must have an internal Kingston SSD installed in your PC to use the Acronis True Image for Kingston software. Hold up, Trisha, what is Acronis and why am I downloading it? In addition to drive cloning, AKA creating an exact copy of your data onto another drive, Acronis is a software that also gives you an easy way to back up your files that includes ransomware protection. And if you have an internal Kingston SSD, it's free for a year. Huzzah, free is nice. Now, after that first year, you can extend your subscription or upgrade for more features like antivirus protection and up to five terabytes of cloud backup storage using a special 20% discount reserved exclusively for Kingston customers. Once you're in, under Tools, select Clone Disk, and the Clone Disk wizard will appear to guide you through the process. Select Automatic and click Next to continue. Then you'll be asked to choose the source disk or disk you want to clone data from. Double check you've chosen the right disk because selecting the wrong disk could totally erase your drive and would be very sad. Once you're positive you've chosen the correct source disk, AKA the current or old drive, then click next and you'll be asked to choose your destination disk, which will be your new Kingston SSD. If your destination disk already has data on it, you will get a warning asking if you're sure you'd like to proceed. Again, double and triple check here that you've chosen the intended source and destination disks. Once chosen, we adventure onwards. Now we'll be asked to choose our cloning method. And if you're indeed replacing the current drive with your new drive, you can choose to replace a disk on this machine and click next. Then you'll see a summary screen showing the new partition structure of the SSD, which will automatically scale based on your new SSD size in relation to your older drive. Select proceed to continue and you'll be asked to restart your computer to complete the cloning process. And there we have it. Your new SSD is ready to go. You'll need to enter your system's BIOS and set the boot priority to make your new drive the first device your system will boot from. Enjoy your new fancy drive, everyone. Like this video, subscribe to this channel for more tech tips, and I'll see you next time with more DIY in 5.